Look at this blue sky as well. Self-isolation, but in this garden, you really don't feel like that. At all. Sorry for the people that don't have gardens. Look at this. Repeat of like summer in it. Like nothing's changed really. We're in second lockdown. Well, yeah, guys. So it's not exactly summer anymore, but these guys come to disturb me. What do you want? What do you want? You go in the shed. Well, I'm trying to do a vlog. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> So yeah, if, like me, you love your liberty, um, you know, you probably sent up yours to this lockdown as I did the first time. And these clips will show you that I did not care. Of course, um, it is such a difficult time for all of us. 2020 has been the year to forget, you know. But adversity is what I deal with every day. So this is nothing new. You know, so I want to just kick this second lockdown in the arse and move on. Because nobody wants to remember all the difficult times we've had this year. But I do believe the scars of the past shape the future. And the scars this year have given me so far. And my life has given me so far. There's been a lot of them, you know. But it does make you better for it in the future. I know that for a fact. However difficult things seem now, they will get better, they can't get worse. And I pray for those who, you know, are struggling financially, have lost their businesses already because of the first lockdown. And yeah, I don't fear it and I'm not worried, but I feel for the other people who are losing their businesses because of this lockdown and their livelihoods, you know. So of course, you know, I feel for them people, but me personally, like bring it on lockdown, do your worst because I've spent enough time looking inwards and I've come to realise that I'm tougher than I realise and a lot of you are so just bear that in mind when this year is getting you down and God has got all of us down but we're going to bounce back because that's what we do really we just say up yours to anything that stands in our way and that is human nature and this virus can't stop that but yeah anyway we're back guys, in the great outdoors, getting some fresh air, you know, and I like, I like to do this every now and then in the morning, um, get a bit of fresh air, clear your head, you know, think about what kind of day you're going to have, what kind of day you did have the day before, um, mainly because I've been writing like a journal every day now, or diary, whatever you call it, like how I'm feeling each day, the mood I'm in, what's going on, you know, in, in my head basically, just get it down on the page, and then, you know, because sometimes when you don't let out what you're feeling inside, it can be worse. It can be counterintuitive. So you just got to find somewhere to put all that and then move on. Plan out your day or talk about what you went through that day, good or bad. Because I know I'm going to look back at it and realise, okay, this is how I dealt with this difficult time. This is how I dealt with this not so difficult time. Because even when things are going great, you can uh, trip up and stuff. And it, it's not learning how not to do that, but learning how to react when you do that, you know. Because if we did nothing wrong, we wouldn't know what we did right, you know. Wait, that's not it. If we did everything right, we wouldn't know what was wrong. Yeah, I got it right for once. But yeah, it's true. Like, if you don't make a mistake out, you're going to know what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. But anyway, yeah, today's more about lockdown and how I got through the last one and if you've seen the intro um, from previous vlogs over the last six months or so or a lot well, longer than that seven or eight months you'll see like how far we've come we've all come how far I've come in this time from the first lockdown to shielding to now to eat out to help out whatever that was and here we are now second lockdown it's gonna be a lot of difficult times between now and when 
this vaccine is actually available, if it actually works. But don't get your hopes up, I'm not getting my hopes up. You know, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, guys, I mean, if you saw from the intro, from the clip I just put in, um, you know, I, I got to 100 subscribers during the, the previous lockdown, um, and I made the most of it, really. I carried on making vlogs, um, despite COVID, despite the, the, the restrictions that puts on someone like me, a lot of them, basically, and it restricts your creativity, being locked up all the time. Well, it's like being locked up, locked down, yeah. It's close enough. Um, but yeah, you can blame Boris, you can blame all these people. I do, but I'm not here to talk about that. Like, I've done that on my previous vlog, uh, and many vlogs and podcasts in the past. But now it's just time to deal with it. And it's easy for me to say that, well, in some ways, uh, because I'm not those people on, you know, small amount of wages, you know, waitresses, things like that, those kind of jobs, uh, cleaners, you know, that, that they rely on each paycheck to get through each month or each week. And now they're being told you've got to default on your rent and go to a food bank for food. You know? And so the line between like normal life and poverty is, is thin. And we're seeing that now. But this is my situation and what I'm dealing with, so I'm going to do what I can to get you guys through it and hopefully you can get me through it too. I was so worried guys it was going to start raining during this vlog. So I, I took my chance and the sun is out guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to roll the outro basically. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Whatever situation you're in, yes we know it's difficult. Stay strong, we'll, be, we'll get through it eventually. Um, and one day soon, we're back to normal. But there is a vaccine. Whether that fully works, we don't know. But that's good news. That means, you know, we're almost at the end of this nightmarish year, really. And yeah, uh, big things to come. Hopefully we can get some sort of normal Christmas. I don't know. We'll see, guys. But that is it for me. Take it easy, fam. Peace.